Hi everybody, this is Dr. Brichter Von Doom. Today I'm going to show you how to make the ultimate version of the Hulkbuster. It combines the two original sets of the Hulkbuster, the 2016 Age of Ultron Hulkbuster Smash, set 76031, and the Infinity War Hulkbuster Smash Up, set 76104 from 2018. They have very original names for the Hulkbuster sets, I'll give them that. So, to start with, I used the head from the Infinity War version. I like both, but I thought that this version just had a little bit more detailed printing on it. The torso is based mostly on the Age of Ultron version, with some design and color adjustments that I'll go into in more detail in a second. The arms are a, a combination of both versions. The shoulders are the Age of Ultron, while the hands and forearms are the Infinity War version, pretty much unmodified. The legs are almost entirely uh, based on the Age of Ultron version, but are also kind of modified. So, if we take a look at the front in terms of modifications that I made, First off, I really liked the stickers from the Infinity War version, so I tried to incorporate those as much as possible. What I did was I swapped out the large circular chest piece that was present in the Age of Ultron version and used the small square, or sorry, small um, uh, yeah, square stud from the um, Infinity War version for the arc reactor. I then added uh, cheese slopes on both sides to kind of frame it and a one by two single mounted gray stud um, as the base for it. I also switched out the gray adapter pieces for gold ones. You can see uh, here that I had to put gold studs underneath um, to get the right length but I actually like how that looks. And I think that adding the gold rather than the black just makes the whole appearance pop more. This used to be a 1x2 studded piece, but I switched it out for a 1x2 uh, cheese slope, again just to give a bit more angling. If we look at modifications to the back now, I added in this little gold stud there. This uh, two by six piece used to be in dark gray, but I swapped that out for red. This angled piece back here used to be a um, black uh, piece, but I switched that out for the dark red and then added another um, four stud wide red sloped piece here. And I think that just adding the red color back there gives the uh, appearance the back an appearance of being more complete for the hips i did have to make um, some significant modifications here so the original uh, age of ultron set just had one each of these beige um, gear pieces i added another one on each side as well as a closed off black ball bearing on each side as well. This moves the leg out a little bit, which I think actually works fine, but underneath there is the Technic um, uh, bar or pin. And in the old version, it used to uh, stick out like that. And I thought aesthetically that looked very uh, suboptimal. So by extending out the hips a little bit, I've corrected that issue. Now looking at the legs, basically this sloped piece used to run to the knee, then you had uh, this gold piece, and then you had a 1x2 uh, cheese slope. What I did was basically flip that and then use this uh, mounting piece with a circular uh, trans blue stud to act as sort of the arc reactors on the knees, as if you look at the, the model, there are um, small arc reactors there, and so this is more authentic. Moving down to the legs, I did add the stickers from the Infinity War set uh, just for a little bit of extra detailing, which I quite like. Then I added basically toes by using the one by one cheese slopes, uh, two each on uh, each foot for extra stability. And then all of these um, 
gold pieces that you see on the outside and inside were all, all added again just to add more detail. You can see that the actual function of the minifigure has not changed at all. You can still fit Iron Man in there and he still mounts in perfectly. And the reason I kept uh, the uh, frame from the Age of Ultron set rather than the Infinity War set is I actually liked one, the kind of angling up that you get with it. I liked the aesthetic of the, um, the model better. And I liked the fit of Iron Man inside the armor better because if you remember the Infinity War set would close in and once you had a minifigure in there it actually wouldn't close completely and so I didn't really like that. And the hands are unmodified from the Infinity War set because I really did like those designs and I think the stickers um, made it work very well and it just added a bulk that the original uh, Age of Ultron set did not have but I preferred um, these pieces for the shoulders and so I kept them. So those are my modifications to the Hulkbuster to create what I'm calling my ultimate version of the Hulkbuster. I hope you like it and I hope it provides you inspiration to make modifications of your own. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I look forward to reading your thoughts. If you liked the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Have a good day. Bye.